Hey, it's Saturday, December 31st, 2022. Um, okay, so yesterday I said I wasn't coming up today, but we're here. Tomorrow. We're not going to be here tomorrow. Um, yeah, today we're going to... Uh, I showed yesterday the previous video that um, sensor, pressure sensor manifold. Uh, we're going to get that mounted up. That's going to be on the firewall up there in the front on the engine side and that's where the um, fuel oil and um, <laughs> manifold pressure sensors are gonna go so yeah we'll get going on that and see what else we can uh, get going today we're gonna be putting our sensor manifold uh, probably about right here on the firewall and I don't really want to cut a big giant um, hole in that to accommodate the sensor manifold because these sensors they're pretty much flush with the back of this so even with this mounted if it's even if we did a full size um, hole in here you know to sorry to match this profile where these sensors are it's still gonna be really tight against the firewall and it could make create problems getting the if I need to change out a sensor I'd have to take the entire manifold off instead of just unscrewing it from here um, that's kind of what I'm thinking initially but uh, so I was trying to figure out um, where we do the cutout what to use for a spacer in there it needs to be a pretty thick spacer and initially I thought well I could just use some washers uh, but I'm not super keen on that I guess I could use some thick or the the really wide flat washers uh, in there on that but I've got this this was a seat rail that um, we messed up on way back when drilled the wrong size hole in it and uh, thought hey we could use this uh, I'll trim this down and this will just be a spacer um, against the firewall I don't think it's a big deal that it's you know corrugated like that but it's just I just need it to act as a spacer so we'll probably do that we'll we'll cut this down to size and uh, test fit it and see what we get All right, working on this uh, shelf behind the panel, and uh, we did mark it up on the underside where the uh, where all that tubing lies, and then we've got cushion clamps in here. We're working on figuring out where uh, where to place those cushion clamps underneath so we get a good distribution of of it being clamped down. Uh, we're going to do a test fit up with the panel now uh, to make sure that everything clears this shelf here. Uh, we've got the GPS that comes in. We've got the 255 com that's um, on top of it, I think, yeah. Uh, so those come in here and they actually extend, I think, a little bit over this shelf because what I want to do is 
put a support bracket on this shelf that goes up onto the radio stack because this this panel doesn't use the standard stack that um, that Rands has and also on top of that we have to figure out uh, a way we'll have to uh, modify some of the mounts for the throttle support and where the fire extinguisher mounts so uh, we're looking into that right now things once it's in here if we ever have to take the shelf out after the airplanes together oh boy that's gonna be a pain in the butt because you're gonna have to come in from this way under the panel just and take the panel <laughs> yeah that's even more fun well pretty decent day today it was a little chilly cloudy had a little bit of snow this morning but uh, it turned out to be a pretty decent day today Okay, we are done for today. And let's see, some some stuff got recorded, some didn't. I can't remember what all did. Well, I guess we pretty much got everything, didn't we? I think so. Okay. I uh, did have to, we got our, you can see we got our shelf uh, fit up. It's not screwed down or anything like that, but we got the, everything in place. And I did have to, let's see, take a little bit of a notch out of it here. When we were doing the fit up with the panel, uh, there's one of the, one of the racks came back and was hitting on this uh, this shelf here. So we did take a notch out of it to accommodate for that. And we are, oh, um, we've got a grommet laying up on top of it there. We're going to, <laughs> uh, we're going to put a grommet in on either side because we've got the ignition leads that come off of the boxes here. We'll need to come up. We got to get those through this shelf panel here so we'll do a we'll do we'll figure it out but we got we'll put a grommet in here and then those will loop up and then out those uh through those grommets there to go into the engine compartment we've got that part uh fit up and not done but we're getting there um oh yeah we did the pressure sensor manifold fit up on the front um I need to get fittings for that uh, that go over to the engine and uh, so we're going to figure that out and get the right stuff for that and then once I get that done I can uh, put the fittings on the manifolds, uh, thread seal those and then we can get that mounted up. We were going to work on the header tank. 
Um, we've got that header tank done um, minus the sump. Uh, we haven't done that yet. We haven't put all the fittings in. What's that? We haven't put all the fittings in the header tank. No, we haven't put the fittings in, but I mean, as far as being able to actually put it in, because we did the fuel, the low fuel uh, switch, uh, we did that, and we've been letting that sit. Uh, we did some pro seal on that, and been letting that sit for a month. Uh, I got the battery box laying there. Uh, I still need to get the the fuse holders there. How's that? Is that the right terminology? I've been calling it circuit breaker, and I got corrected on that. So I need to get the fuse holders uh, installed there. And then we can put that battery box back in. Uh, but yeah, we won't be back up tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day that I'm not going to, or that we're not going to be up here. We're putting away all the Christmas stuff tomorrow. And... Early morning volunteering. I, yeah, I've got, uh, I volunteer uh, on some Sundays. And so uh, tomorrow's my day. So I've got to be up and running by 6 45 so not going to be a late night not probably not going to see the new year in but that's nothing different than the past several years <laughs> and you usually fall asleep on the couch and then wake up like about two minutes after midnight oh yeah, okay happy, happy new year, new year. Uh, so anyways um we'll be up on monday the second we're both off that day so we'll come up and get some work done then but hey everybody have a safe new year's eve uh, and a happy new year tomorrow. So um, thanks for watching. That's it for now.